Devastating storms with straight line winds and tornadoes left quite a path of destruction and thousands of people in the dark in several counties in northeast Oklahoma for days on end. Hello everyone and welcome to Sun Up. I'm Lyndall Stout. We'll have some tips on cleaning up after the storm a little bit later in the show. But first, we're looking at some of the dangers for cattle after severe weather with Dr. Dave Lawman. Well, after a storm blows through, you know, uh, things are going to move around and and strong winds, you know, are going to damage trees, maybe blow foreign objects or materials into pastures or pens where livestock are housed. And so, you know, at the bottom line is, you know, those can create health challenges to livestock. And so people just need to try if they can to get those those items picked up. Uh, the thing that we see probably most often <clears throat> is hardware disease due to uh, sharp objects being mostly accidentally consumed by livestock. Uh, but other things can cause health challenges as well. You know, things like net wrap or, you know, a hand towel for crying out loud, or maybe a, a tarp. Uh, plastic bags are all things that uh, could over time create a, a health challenge for, for cattle. Dive a little deeper into what hardware disease actually is. Hardware is generally going to be caused by sharp metal objects or, you know, shattered wood splinters, you know, accidental consumption of those and, and perhaps swallowing those, it goes down in the esophagus. The metal objects are gonna be heavy and so they may sink to the bottom of the reticulum. Uh, and, you know, let's say it gets wedged in there and the way the room and reticulum works is that strong muscle contractions are what moves the digestive material around in that room and a strong muscle, muscular contraction uh, can lead to certainly an abrasion and possibly a puncture wound. And that can lead to all kinds of issues. If we're talking about hardware disease, there's gonna be pain involved. And so they might move slowly. Uh, they might stand with the humped back, you know, trying to relieve some pressure somewhere in that rumen reticulum. Uh, they might stand with their neck extended, their head extended to try to relieve that pain. The other thing is they're gonna gradually go downhill in terms of losing body condition. And certainly, you know, any of those symptoms, you need to engage a veterinarian. Some storms, of course, there's widespread tree damage, so I would think there would be an, an extra concern after that kind of damage. Yeah, I, you know, again, I think it would be accidental that, it, and the more overgrazed the pasture is, the more hungrier the animals are, the more likely something like that would occur. Uh, but on the other hand, growing calves, you know, much like a puppy or much like uh, my 11 month old grandson, everything goes to the mouth and those little calves are the same way. They like to explore, they may chew on it for a while, eventually be uh, tempted to swallow and that's when, you know, they can swallow the, some of those foreign materials. And this is designed to pick up some of that stuff, right, when, when feeding. Yeah, so uh, it, it, this concern, maybe especially with the sharp metal objects, uh, may be more of a concern with baled or harvested forage uh, because, you know, the operator doesn't see it. And so it gets baled up, maybe even ground when the feed is being mixed in a total mixed ration. Uh, put in some sort of a, a feed truck or a feed wagon and fed back to the livestock. But, you know, just, I mean, I think the idea is to make sure that your magnet on the spout is working because you know, those things work really well and they'll try to pull all the metal objects out and, and uh, allow them to be removed. Okay, Dave, lots of great information, uh, obviously after severe weather, but really any time of the year. Any time. Okay, thank you. Thank you.